All right, so let's see what these signs say. Your prize is up on the surface. This waterfall is too high for you to float up. You must make a boat. All right, so we need to make a boat to get up there, obviously. Um, I'm not going to attempt to swim up there. But there is a crafting table over here. It appears that this room seems perfectly safe. Nothing's exploding, so that's a good sign. Um, I don't see any other sort of death traps. I assume this is probably going to be one. This all seems... Ooh, look, dirt. I can dig up dirt. All right, let's see. Axe. All right, this seems uh seems pretty. Oh, are you kidding me? I have to grow a freaking tree, don't I? Remember those saplings I gave you in the beginning? Plant one of them here to get wood for your boat. What? You lost them? Haha, <laughs> you are so screwed. There's no escape. Ha! But I didn't lose them. I actually have them. Ta-da! So I literally have to watch a tree grow. I should have taken those bones. That way I could have just freaking done it. Well, um, in that case, can I plant torches at least on here so I can, alright, no. I wish I could give it more light, so I think I'm just going to plant like two torches over here. Give it some more light, and we will watch a tree grow. And by we, I mean not you, so I will be back when this uh, tree is grown. Okay, we're back. The tree's here, so uh, we're just going to chop this down. Look, more saplings. So we're just going to, yeah, chop down the tree, get the wood that we need to uh, make ourselves a boat, and we'll continue on with our escape. I'm assuming there's probably something under this dirt, so I'm going to dig it up. Ah, uh, yeah, I can Oh, yeah, figures. There would be bone meal and two saplings under here. Freaking stupid map. <laughs> so... No, I had to wait like five minutes for that stupid tree to grow when I could have just dug up the dirt in the first place and got the bone meal. Alright, so we're going to make a boat. I should probably make two because I have a bad habit with breaking boats on everything. But I think I'm just going to go with the one and hope that I don't screw this up. So, uh, maneuver the boat in the correct position. Oh, oh, crap, I'm in the wall. Crap, I'm in the wall, I'm in the wall. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we're going to make it in time. Wow, this is really, really big, honestly. Okay, where are we? I have no idea where we are. We're on the top of some pillar. Let's get out of this boat. All right, wow. Why is my fog on? All right, other than that. All right, so this is a little top view of where we are. I've actually seen this from when I had to go outside the outside the map. Jump down, trust me. Yeah, all right. There's water down there. I assume I can survive this. I don't see any other way. All right, we're just gonna go for it. Oh, wow. Okay, that wasn't even cool, man. All right. So now that we're out here. All right. Let's see what this uh, sign says right here. I hope none of these pressure plates blow you off. Alrighty, so, these are probably hooked to explosives. I am not very fond of explosives. Let me test my jumping skills. Alright. Okay, we made it past one. We're not dead yet. Oh, excuse me, I am, um, totally forgot this. Because I had my sound off. Should probably turn that back on. All right, I hear lots of things now. All right, we're close to outside. That's good to know, I guess. There's no blocks above me. And jump! Ooh, okay. All right. This is going to be really annoying. Jump. 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 And jump. All right, we made it without dying. Good job. You didn't hit any of them, did you? Oh, you're so screwed. Hurry up, this place will soon blow up. Alright, so, um, let's see, you might need these flint and steel, dirt, and a lever. Remember what I told you, go right to escape. Oh, ho, ho, you are clever. 
You are clever. This is right at back at the start. Oh, you are very clever, sir. I am very impressed. I am not even, like, very clever. So we have to go back through uh, this original puzzle. That was actually really funny, honestly. I think that was very planned out. That was very well planned out, I mean. Now, I, one of these has, like, a trick jump where you have to, like, jump a little later than all the others that I fell down before. I think it was this one. Was it this one? No, it wasn't this one. So I'm going to, like, creep up on the edge of, like, all... Yeah, I think it's this one. See, there's, like, that trick jump here. Yeah, see? It's, like, right here. So you have to get really close. Yeah, see, I, I can't do it every every time. I can't make this jump. I don't know why I, I can't make it. But I'm going to continue on anyways. So... See, there's ladders in the rest of them, so, you, like, if you screw up like I do, you can just, uh, get back over there. So how are you supposed to make these? I can't even make these, uh... Alright, I made it that time. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I don't know why I can't make those jumps. I'm just... I hear another portal. So I'm assuming this is where I have to use this, um... This lever... And since I know I can't make that jump, I'm just going to fly over it. There will be cake. Hello everybody, once again, it's Matt from Minecraft Stars, and today we are going to be going through the portal, because, uh, we're recording again. It's been quite a while since the last episode, actually. Um, to you, it's probably been about a week. For me, it's probably been about a month since recording, and this is pretty cool. Um, but as you can see, we're at 1.4-1 now. And, uh, yeah, a lot of, is there really another portal right here? I didn't know you could put portals that close to each other and have them actually, uh... Unless that, uh, that glitch was fixed. There was, um, a problem I remember early on that if you put, like, two portals close to each other, they would just transport you back and forth to the, uh... To, like, the same one, kind of. But I, apparently this worked out really well, um... You have finally managed to escape. You no longer have to follow the rules. It's over here. Thank you for playing Mr. Propagant's Escapecraft. No hacks were used in making it except Invedit. The whole project took around 30 plus hours of work. Two hours making the landscape you're looking at right now. I've played through more than 20 times. Just to give you the best possible experience. Hope you enjoyed. Please give me some feedback. I might make another one. Oh, well. Apparently that's the end of the map. I kind of thought uh, we were going to have a little bit more going. What's in here? A lot of random uh, stone. Some coal. Whoops, I did not want to do that. Let's take that back. Where did I even... Oh, whatever. Some diamond tools, some other things. You know, uh, Miss Peppergun, there's no cake here. You said there was going to be cake. This is, I don't have to follow the rules anymore. I'm just going to destroy everything I'm looking at. Uh, every crevice. Because I expect that there is going to be... Ah, there's the cake. Alright, you didn't lie. The cake is not a lie. And there's some music discs that we can play. So yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Um, the map it was pretty decent. Uh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't you know like really crappily made. It was uh, pretty well done. I liked it a lot. Uh, Mr. Propagon, you did a pretty good job with it. And um, if you guys have a map that you guys would want me to play next, since I no longer have anything to do after this one, I, well, I don't have anything planned yet. So if you guys have a map that you want me to play, then uh, feel free to leave a comment down below with the map name. And if I find it, I might just play it next. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the comments. And thanks for the people who subscribe to my main channel. Um, it means a lot to me. And uh, I will see you guys next time.